the angels. <laughs> Declan, I'm so glad you came up. Because you came up, everybody gets to hear the children's message. Because of you. Now, I think I know the answer to this, but do you have any pets, Declan? Do you have some dogs? You have a dog, don't you? Yeah, how do you feel about your dog? Do you love him? You love him, don't you? Does he come, does he come up to you and wants to be petted by you? Does he give you a kiss on the cheek? Does he kiss you? No? Mom, doesn't, doesn't he? Sh yeah, yeah, you're just bashful, you're shy. Dogs are wonderful, aren't they? Now, I don't mean to be like, if you like cats, if you have cats or other pets, I don't mean to, like, I don't mean to offend you, but there's just something about dogs. Cats are kind of independent. They could maybe you need you or not. Dogs want to be with you. They're pack animals, and they, you're part of the pack, and they want to spend time with you. They, your dog wants to spend time with you. Now, some of you may know, Pastors had a couple dogs. Here's my first one when I came here. Anybody remember his name? Bentley. Bentley. Pastor Bentley. He was a wonderful dog, and we loved him so very much. He passed away last year, and uh, we missed him greatly. He was really a member of the family, and he was a special friend for me. But we were blessed by the Lord because before he passed... Uh-oh. Would you advance the slide for me? There we go. Anybody know who this is? Gideon. That's Gideon. Gideon, when he was just a little puppy, he was only months old when we got him and we brought him home. That's actually him laying on my lap. And uh, he, we got him when uh, Gideon was still alive. And Gideon, or when Bentley was still alive, and they kind of became best buds. This is Bentley showing him how to be a Great Dane, which means you lay out in the yard and soak up the sun, and then you come in and you sit on, lay on the couch, take up space, and you sleep on the bed. <laughs> but it was wonderful. It was wonderful to have him when Bentley was alive, and then it was really wonderful to have him when Bentley had passed away. Can you advance the slide for me? There's Gideon today. He's a handsome little boy. He comes over here a lot. You know, you, with a dog, you want to spend time with him, don't you? I want to spend time with him, so I'll bring him over here, especially when Susan is gone for a while, and he hangs out in the office, and he, he's getting to know everybody and become very friendly. Think about how much you love your dog and your pets. It's a very special thing, isn't it? But even more than we love our pets, even more than we love our children. Jesus loves you. He loves you. We're going to sing a hymn. It's called, I Am Jesus' Little Lamb, and it talks about that love. Does it look like Jesus loves that little lamb he's holding? It does, doesn't it? Loves him very much. That's how much he loved you. It doesn't matter whether you're good or you're bad. He still loves you so very much, more than your mom and dad do, more than anybody else in this world, so much that he came down, God came down, and became one of us to dig, die on the cross, to forgive all your sins so that you can live with him now. And he rose again, so you know that. That's what we celebrate on Easter. Jesus rose again. He's living with you now. His spirit's in your heart since baptism. He wants a life with you now because he loves you so much, Declan. And all of you wants a life with you now to lead you through whatever happens in this life to eternal life to come. And that is a wonderful thing. It's a love that we don't have in our hearts, but he pours it in through his Holy Spirit. Whenever we think and wonder if God loves us, think of Jesus going to the cross and rising again so he can have life with you now and eternal life to come. You, his precious little lamb. All of you, his precious little lamb. Let's pray to our good shepherd, shall we? And you can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus be, our be our shepherd. Guide us in this life. Guide us in this life. Forgive our sins. Forgive our sins. Give us faith to believe. 
in your love and your gift of eternal life. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for coming up, Declan, so everybody could hear the children's message. You're an awesome guy. You can go back to your seat with your mom and dad, or you can go with Miss Chrissy to Children's Church if you like.